Hebei, Hebei formerly romanized as Hopa is a province of China in the North China region. The modern province was established in 1911 as Jili Province or Chili Province. Its one character abbreviation is G. G, named after Ji Province, a Han Dynasty province that included what is now southern Hebei. The name Hebei literally means, "...north of the river", referring to its location entirely to the north of the Yellow River. The modern province, Chile Province, was formed in 1911 after the central government dissolved the central governed area of Chile, which means, "...directly ruled by the imperial court", until it was renamed as, Hebei. In 1928, Beijing and Tianjin municipalities, which border each other, were carved out of Hebei. The province borders Liaoning to the northeast, Inner Mongolia to the north, Shaanxi to the west, Henan to the south, and Shandong to the southeast. Bohai Bay of the Yellow Sea is to the east. A small part of Hebei, Sanhe Exclave, consisting of Sanhe, Dechang Wei Autonomous County, and Shangha County, an exclave disjointed from the rest of the province, is wedged between the municipalities of Beijing and Tianjin. A common alternate name for Hebei is Yanjiao, Yan Zhao after the state of Yan and state of Zhao that existed here during the Warring States period of early Chinese history. History Plains in Hebei were the home of Peking Man, a group of Homo erectus that lived in the area around 200,000 to 700,000 years ago. Neolithic findings at the prehistoric Beifuddy site date back to 7000 and 8000 BC during the spring and autumn period 722 BC to 476 BC, Hebei was under the rule of the states of Yan in the north and Jin in the south. Also during this period, a nomadic people known as Di invaded the plains of northern China and established Zhongshan in central Hebei. During the Warring States period 403 BC to 221 BC, Jin was partitioned, and much of its territory within Hebei went to Zhao. The Qin dynasty unified China in 221 BC. The Han dynasty 206 BC, AD 220 ruled the area under two provinces Zhou, Yu Prefecture in the north and Ji Province in the south. At the end of the Han dynasty, most of Hebei came under the control of warlords Gongsun Zan in the north and Yuan Shao further south. Yuan Shao emerged victorious of the two, but he was soon defeated by rival Cao Cao based further south, in modern-day Henan in the Battle of Guandu in 200. Hebei then came under the rule of the Kingdom of Wei one of the three kingdoms, established by the descendants of Cao Cao. After the invasions of northern nomadic peoples at the end of the Western Jin dynasty, the chaos of the Sixteen Kingdoms and the northern and southern dynasties ensued. Hebei, firmly in North China and right at the northern frontier, changed hands many times, being controlled at various points in history by the later Zhao, former Yan, former Qin, and later Yan. The Northern Wei reunified northern China in 440, but split in half in 534, with Hebei coming under the eastern half first the Eastern Wei, then the Northern Qi, which had its capital at Yi, Yi near modern Linjiang, Hebei. The Sui dynasty again unified China in 589. During the Tang dynasty 618 the area was formally designated Hebei north of the Yellow River for the first time. During the earlier part of the Five Dynasties and Ten Kingdoms period, Hebei was fragmented among several regimes, though it was eventually unified by Li Kunzu, who established the later Tang The next dynasty, the later Jin under Shi Jingtang, posthumously known as Emperor Gaozu of later Jin, ceded much of modern-day northern Hebei to the Khitan Liao dynasty in the north. This territory, called the Sixteen Prefectures of Yanyan, became a major weakness in the Chinese defense against the Khitans for the next century, since it lay within the Great Wall. During the Northern Song Dynasty the sixteen ceded prefectures continued to be an area of hot contention between Song China and the Liao Dynasty. The Southern Song Dynasty that came after abandoned all of North China, including Hebei, to the Yurchin Jin Dynasty after the Jingkong Incident in 1127 of the Jin Song Wars. The Mongol Yuan Dynasty divided China into provinces but did not establish Hebei as a province. Rather, the area was directly administrated by the Secretariat at capital Dadu. The Ming dynasty ruled Hebei as Beijili, 
Simplified Chinese, Beiji Li traditional Chinese, Beiji Li pinyin, Beiji Li, meaning, northern directly ruled, because the area contained and was directly ruled by the imperial capital, Beijing. The northern designation was used because there was a southern counterpart covering present day Jiangsu and Anhui. When the Manchu Qing dynasty came to power in 1644, they abolished the southern counterpart, and Hebei became known as Jili, or simply directly ruled. During the Qing dynasty, the northern borders of Jili extended deep into what is now Inner Mongolia, and overlapped in jurisdiction with the leagues of Inner Mongolia. The Qing dynasty collapsed in 1912 and was replaced by the Republic of China. Within a few years, China descended into civil war, with regional warlords vying for power. Since Jili was so close to Peking Beijing, the capital, it was the site of frequent wars, including the Ziwan War, the First Zifeng War and the Second Zifeng War. With the success of the Northern Expedition, a successful campaign by the Kuomintang to end the rule of the warlords, the capital was moved from Peking Beijing to Nanking Nanjing. As a result, the name of Jili was changed to Hebei to reflect the fact that it had a standard provincial administration, and that the capital had been relocated elsewhere. During the Second World War, Hebei was under the control of the reorganized national government of the Republic of Japan, a puppet state of Imperial Japan. The founding of the People's Republic of China saw several changes. The region around Chengdu, previously part of Ri Province, historically part of Manchuria, and the region around Zhangjiakou, previously part of Shahar Province, historically part of Inner Mongolia, were merged into Hebei, extending its borders northwards beyond the Great Wall. The capital was also moved from Baoding to the upstart city of Shijiazhuang, and for a short period to Tianjin. On July 28, 1976, Tongshan was struck by a powerful earthquake, the Tongshan earthquake, the deadliest of the 20th century with over 240,000 killed. A series of smaller earthquakes struck the city in the following decade. In 2005, Chinese archaeologists unearthed what is being called the Chinese equivalent of Italy's Pompeii. The find in question, located near Liumengchun village in Kang County in east-central Hebei, is a buried settlement destroyed nearly 700 years ago by a major earthquake. Another possible explanation may be the four successive floods which hit the area around the time when the settlement met its sudden end. The settlement appears to have been a booming commercial center during the Song dynasty. Geography Most of central and southern Hebei lies within the North China Plain. The western part of Hebei rises into the Taihong Mountains while the Yan Mountains run through northern Hebei, beyond which lie the grasslands of Inner Mongolia. The Great Wall of China cuts through northern Hebei from east to west as well, briefly entering the border of Beijing municipality, and terminates at the seacoast of Shanhaiguan in northeastern Hebei. The highest peak is Mount Shaowutai, Shaowutai Shan in Yu County in the northwest of the province with an altitude of 2882 meters, 9455 feet. Hebei borders Bohai Sea on the east. The Hai He watershed covers most of the province's central and southern parts and the Luan He watershed covers the northeast. Not counting the numerous reservoirs to be found in Hebei's hills and mountains, the largest lake in Hebei is Baiyangdian, located mostly in Anshin County. Major cities Shijiazhuang, Baoding, Tongshan, Qinhuangdao, Handan, Zhangjiakou Climate Hebei has a continental monsoon climate, with cold, dry winters, and hot, humid summers. Temperatures average minus 16 to minus 3 degrees Celsius, 3 to 27 degrees Fahrenheit, in January and 20 to 27 degrees Celsius, 68 to 81 degrees Fahrenheit, in July. The annual precipitation ranges from 400 to 800 millimeters, 16 to 31 in, concentrated heavily in summer. Topic: <laughs> Administrative divisions. Hebei is made up of 11 prefecture-level divisions, all prefecture-level cities 
These 11 prefecture level divisions are subdivided into 170 county level divisions, 47 districts, 20 county level cities, 95 counties and 6 autonomous counties. Those are in turn divided into 2207 township level divisions, 1 district public office, 937 towns, 979 townships, 55 ethnic townships and 235 subdistricts. Urban areas Politics The politics of Hebei is structured in a dual-party government system like all other governing institutions in mainland China. The governor of Hebei is the highest ranking official in the People's Government of Hebei. However, in the province's dual party government governing system, the governor has less power than the Hebei Communist Party of China Provincial Committee Secretary, CPC Party Chief. Topic: <inaudible> Economy. <inaudible> in 2014, Hebei's GDP was 2.942 trillion yuan, $479 billion, ranked 6th in the PRC. GDP per capita reached 40,124 renminbi. As of 2011, the primary, secondary, and tertiary sectors of industry contributed 203.46 billion, 877.74 billion, and 537.66 billion RMB respectively. The registered urban unemployment rate was 3.96%. 40% of Hebei's labor force works in the agriculture, forestry and animal husbandry sectors, with the majority of production from these industries going to Beijing and Tianjin Hebei's main agricultural products are cereal crops including wheat, maize, millet, and sorghum. Cash crops like cotton, peanut, soybeans and sesame are also produced. Kailuan, with a history of over 100 years, is one of China's first modern coal mines, and remains a major mine with an annual production of over 20 million metric tons. Much of the North China oilfield is found in Hebei, and there are also major iron mines at Handan and Chinan. Iron, as well as steel, manufacturing are the largest industries in Hebei, and are likely to remain so as these industries consolidate and Hebei continues to grow as a manufacturing and transportation center for the region. Hebei's industries include textiles, coal, steel, iron, engineering, chemical production, petroleum, power, ceramics and food. Topic Economic and Technological Development Zones Baoding High Tech Industry Development Zone Longfang Export Processing Zone Qinhuang Dao Economic and Technological Development Zone Qinhuang Dao Export Processing Zone Shijia Zhuang High Tech Industrial Development Zone Demographics The population is mostly Han Chinese. 55 ethnic minorities are present in Hebei, representing 4.27% of the total population. The largest are Manchu million people, Wei people, people and Mongol people. Excludes members of the People's Liberation Army in active service. Source: Department of Population, Social, Science and Technology Statistics of the National Bureau of Statistics of China and Department of Economic Development of the State Ethnic Affairs Commission of China, EDS. Tabulation on Nationalities of 2000 Population Census of China, 2 vols. Beijing, Nationalities Publishing House, Min Zhu Chu Ban Shi 2003. ISBN 7-105-05425-5. In 2004, the birth rate was 11.98 births per 1,000 people, while the death rate was 6.19 deaths per 1,000 people. In 2000 the sex ratio at birth was 118.46 males to 100 females. Religion The predominant religions in Hebei are Chinese folk religions, Taoist traditions and Chinese Buddhism. According to surveys conducted in 2007 and 2009, 5.52% of the population believes and is involved in ancestor veneration, while 3.05% of the population identifies as Christian, mostly of the Catholic Church. 
Local worship of deities in the region began to organize into benevolent churches as a reaction to Catholicism in the Qing dynasty. The reports didn't give figures for other types of religion. 90.61% of the population may be either irreligious or involved in worship of nature deities, Buddhism, Confucianism, Taoism, and folk religious sects. Zaliism is a folk religious sect that originated in Hebei. There is a presence of Tibetan Buddhist schools in the province. Hebei has the largest Catholic population in China, with 1 million members according to the local government, and 1.5 million Catholics according to the Catholic Church. The province is considered as the center of Catholicism in China. The town of Donglu, where an apparition of the Virgin Mary was reported to have occurred in 1900, is reportedly, "...one of the strongholds of the unofficial Catholic Church in China." A large number of Catholics in Hebei remain loyal to the Pope and reject the authority of the Catholic Patriotic Church. Four of Hebei's underground bishops have been imprisoned in recent years, Bishop Francis and Shuxin of Donglu since 1996, Bishop James Su Jimin since October 1997, and Bishops Han Dingxiang of Yongnyan who died in prison in 2007 and Julius Jia Zhiguo of Zhengding since late 1999. In 2003 there were 350.000 Protestants and 580.000 Muslims according to government statistics. According to a survey, as of 2010 Muslims constitute 0.82% of the population of Hebei. Culture Dialects of Mandarin are spoken over most of the province, and most Mandarin dialects in Hebei are in turn classified as part of the Ji Lu Mandarin subdivision. Regions along the western border with Shaanxi, however, have dialects that are distinct enough for linguists to consider them as part of Jin, another subdivision of Chinese, rather than Mandarin. In general, the dialects of Hebei are quite similar to and readily intelligible with the Beijing dialect, which forms the basis for Standard Chinese, the official language of the nation. However, there are also some distinct differences, such as differences in the pronunciation of certain words that derive from entering tone syllables, syllables ending on a plosive in Middle Chinese. Traditional forms of Chinese opera in Hebei include Pingju, Hebei Bongza, also known as Hebei Clapper Opera, and Kongzhou Kuaiban Dagu. Pingju is especially popular, it tends to be colloquial in language and hence easy to understand for audiences. Originating from northeastern Hebei, Pingju has been influenced by other forms of Chinese opera like Beijing opera. Traditionally Pingju makes use of just a Shaosheng young male lead, a Shaodan young female lead, and a Shaohualian young comic character, though it has since diversified with the use of other roles as well. Kuyang County, in central Hebei, is noted for its Dingzhou porcelain, which includes various vessels such as bowls, plates, vases, and cups, as well as figurines. Dingzhou porcelain is usually creamy white, though it is also made in other colors. Hebei cuisine is typically based on wheat, mutton and beans. Notable individuals Well-known people born in Hebei province include Feng Dao (881–954), Confucian minister Yan Yuan (1635–1704), Confucian philosopher. Kai Jushan (1876–1962), playwright and scholar. Sha Zhengqi, Sha Zhengqi, curator in the Beijing Palace Museum. Topic: Media. Hebei is served by Hebei Television. Transportation Because Hebei surrounds Beijing and Tianjin, all the numerous important railway lines radiating out of these two cities pass through Hebei. The Beijing–Guangzhou Railway is one of the most important, it passes through many major cities such as Baoding, Shijiazhuang, Xingtai and Handan on its way south to Henan. Other important railways include the Beijing Kowloon Railway, Beijing Shanghai Railway, Beijing Harbin Railway, Beijing Chengdu Railway, Beijing Tongliao Railway, Beijing Baotou Railway, and Fengtai Shacheng Railway. 
High speed rail lines crossing the province include the Beijing Shanghai High Speed Railway, Beijing Guangzhou High Speed Railway, and Shijiazhuang Taiyuan High Speed Railway. Future high speed rail lines from Beijing and Tianjin to northeast China and northwest China will traverse northern Hebei. During the 11th Five Year Plan, Beijing and Hebei were collaborating on a new passenger railway. The RMB 82.6 billion network will add 844 km to the system. Current railway systems for Hebei trains are also being upgraded and will soon be able to travel at speeds of between 160 and 200 km per hour. As of the early 2013, railway schedule systems listed 160 passenger train stations within the province. The recent expressway boom in China has not left Hebei behind. There are expressways to every prefecture level city of Hebei, totaling to approximately 2,000 km. The total length of highways within Hebei is around 40,000 km. There are a number of ports along the Bohai Sea, including Qinhuangdao, the second busiest in China with a capacity of over 100 million tons, Wanghua, and Jingtang. Shijiazhuang's Zhengding Airport is the province's center of air transportation, with domestic and international flights. Parts of Hebei will also be served by the new Beijing Daxing International Airport in Beijing, which is currently under construction and expected to be completed by 2017. Tourism The Ming Great Wall crosses the northern part of Hebei and the eastern end is located on the coast at Shanhaiguan Pass, near Qinhuangdao. Informally known as the First Pass of the World. Tian Sha Di Yi Guan Shanheguan was the place where Ming General Wu Sangui opened the gates to Manchu forces in 1644, beginning nearly 300 years of Manchu rule. Shanghai Pass also marks the psychological entrance exit of Manchuria, so that for centuries Manchuria was known as Outside the Pass or East of the Pass. Baidehi, located near Shanheguan, is a popular beach resort well known as a former meeting place for top governmental officials. The Chengdu Mountain Resort and its outlying temples are a World Heritage Site. Also known as the Ri Palace, this was the summer resort of the Manchu Qing Dynasty emperors. The Chengdu Resort was built between 1703 and 1792, and consists of a palace complex, a large park area composed of lakes, pavilions, causeways, bridges, etc., and a number of Tibetan Buddhist and Han Chinese temples in the surrounding area. There are Qing Dynasty imperial tombs at Zunhua Eastern Qing tombs and Yixian West Qing tombs. The Eastern Qing tombs are the resting place of 161 Qing emperors, empresses, and other members of the Qing imperial family, while the West Qing tombs have 76. These are also part of a World Heritage Site. The Zhaozhou, or Anji Bridge, built by Li Chun during the Sui dynasty, is the oldest stone arch bridge in China, and one of the most significant examples of pre-modern Chinese civil engineering. Baoding, the old provincial capital, contains the historical Jili governor's residence. Zibaipo, a village about 90 km 56 miles from Shijiazhuang, in Pingshan County was the location of the Central Committee of the Communist Party of China and the headquarters of the People's Liberation Army during the decisive stages of the Chinese Civil War between May 26, 1948 and March 23, 1949, at which point they were moved to Beijing. Today, the area houses a memorial site. Sports The 2018 Women's Bandy World Championship was held in Hebei Sports teams based in Hebei include National Basketball League China, Hebei Springs Benma Chinese Football Association Hebei China Fortune FC Hebei Elite FC Shijiazhuang Ever Bright FC Topic: Education. Under the National Ministry of Education, North China Electric Power University, Hua Bei Dian Li Da Shui, Hua Bei Dian Li Da Shui, under other national agencies, Central Institute for Correctional Police, Zhang Yang Si Fa Jing Guan Shui Xiao, Zhang Yang Si Fa Jing Guan Shui Yuan, Chinese People's Armed Police Force Academy. 
Zhang Guo Ren Min Wu Zhuang Jing Cha Bu Dui Shui Yuan Zhang Guo Ren Min Wu Zhuang Jing Cha Bu Dui Shui Yuan North China Institute of Science and Technology, Hua Bei KG Shui Yuan Hua Bei KG Shui Yuan under the provincial government Chengdu Medical College Sheung Dei Yi Shui Yuan Sheung Dei Yi Shui Yuan Handan College Han Dan Shui Yuan Han Dan Shui Yuan Hebei Agricultural University Hebei Nong Yi Da Shui Hebei Nong Yi Da Shui Hebei Engineering University Hebei Gong Sheung Da Shui Hebei Gong Sheung Da Shui Hebei Institute of Architecture and Civil Engineering Hebei Jian Zhu Gong Sheung Shui Yuan Hebei Jian Zhu Gong Sheung Shui Yuan Hebei Medical University Hebei Yi K Da Shui Hebei Yi K Da Shui Hebei Normal University Hebei Shi Fan Da Shui Hebei Shi Fan Da Shui Hebei Normal University of Science and Technology Hebei K G G Shi Shui Yuan Hebei K G Shi Fan Shui Yuan Hebei North University Hebei Bei Fang Shui Yuan Hebei Bei Fang Shui Yuan Hebei Physical Educational Institute Hebei Tu Shui Yuan Hebei Tu Shui Yuan North China University of Science and Technology Hua Bei Li Gong Da Shui Hua Bei Li Gong Da Shui Hebei University Hebei Da Shui Hebei Da Shui Hebei University of Economics and Business Hebei Jing Mao Da Shui Hebei Jing Mao Da Shui Hebei University of Technology Hebei Gong Yi Da Shui Hebei Gong Yi Da Shui Hebei University of Science and Technology Hebei KG Da Shui Hebei KG Da Shui Heng Shui University En Shui Shui Yuan En Shui Shui Yuan Longfang Teachers College Langfang Shi Fan Shui Yuan Langfang Shi Fan Shui Yuan North China Coal Medical College Hua Bei Mei Tan Yi Shui Yuan Hua Bei Mei Tan Yi Shui Yuan Shijia Zhuang College Shi Jia Zhuang Shui Yuan Shi Jia Zhuang Shui Yuan Shijia Zhuang Railway Institute Shi Jia Zhuang Tai Dao Shui Yuan Shi Jia Zhuang Tai Dao Shui Yuan Shijia Zhuang University of Economics Shi Jia Zhuang Jing Ji Shui Yuan Shi Jia Zhuang Jing Ji Shui Yuan Tangshan College Tangshan Shui Yuan Tangshan Shui Yuan Tangshan Teachers College Tangshan Shi Fan Shui Yuan Tangshan Shi Fan Shui Yuan Xingtai University Xingtai Shui Yuan Xingtai Shui Yuan Yanshan University Yan Shan Da Shui Yan Shan Da Hui See also Dong Yi Protectorate Hebei People List of prisons in Hebei Major national historical and cultural sites in Hebei Notes <laughs>